Now the question here is how will you classify the cusp form shown in figure below. So there is a cusp form here you can see these are the tubercles and these are giving rise to one cone. So each cusp is just nothing but a cone, one cone. So basically this is the simplest form, simplest cusp form and this particular cusp form is generally seen in crocodiles where there is only hinge jaw movement okay jaw movement just one direction that is uh, the crocodile can just open and close the mouth so this hinge jaw movement is seen okay now this particular cusp form is known as the haplodont okay now i'll be explaining you the other important cusp forms as well so uh, let's start with the haplodont as we have already discussed haplodont there is this is the most simple form the simplest form okay and the conical cusps are seen conical cusp are seen it is seen in crocodiles or the reptiles and in that only the single hinge movement possible hinge movement of opening and closing possible then we have another form that is known as the triconodont okay triconodont that means the teeth are arranged in three cones okay so if you see here the tubercles are arranged in a straight line okay the tubercles are nothing but the cusps so the cusps are arranged in the straight line and the largest cusp is seen in the middle okay so you'll see that there are three cusps form one two and three and the middle one is the largest one and this is this particular arrangement of the cusp on the molars is known as the trichonodont and it is seen in the early mammals early mammals as well as uh, this particular cusp form uh, is important because these are arranged in a single line now there was uh, further there was uh, further evolution in this whole form and these uh, tubercles became arranged in triangles now the three cusp would be there and these cusps will be arranged in triangles okay and this particular stage is known as tri-tubercular stage now this tri-tubercular stage is nothing just the cusps are arranged in triangular form and then there will be from the tri-tubercular stage there will be a fourth cusp that will be evolving and that will be arranged in a rhomboid fashion okay so fourth cusp is formed and an occlusal contact relationship generally develops between the upper and lower jaws that is very important here and this is known as the quadrituberculous form quadrituberculous form in this what happens the fourth cusp which is known as the secondary cusp the first three cusps are known as the trigon okay the primary cusp and the fourth cusp which is developed is known as the secondary cusp and this cusp gives a outline of a quadrilateral and that's why it is known as quadrituberculous arrangement of the cusp and this is of course found in the human beings and here the occlusion develops so there is a occlusal contact relationship between the upper and lower jaws which is seen in the quadrituberculous state so coming back to the question here so our question simply uh, asks about the haplodont so the answer to this there will be simplest form of the cones which are seen in the crocodiles in jaw movement the answer will be haplodont.